Hi guys, like promised, today taking you to another beautiful place here in Alicante, Spain. So let's take a jump out of the camper van into that place in Alicante. Oh, bam! Welcome guys to this beautiful place I'm going to show you around today here near Alicante, near Hondon de las Frayes. It's a beautiful place where there's a stream of water running through this beautiful foresty, hilly, rocky area. I don't know how to call it, um, but it's a stream with some pools where you can swim and all that stuff. It should be a very beautiful part of nature here in this area. So that's why I'm going to walk here and talk to you guys about blockchain, Bitcoin and life. And yes guys, wearing this hobble cap because we need to hobble Bitcoin because, but also because it's bloody hot already here in the morning and I don't want to get this headache because of this sun shining on my head continuously. Hmm, I already took the wrong path I think so I need to walk back to take the right path because I think I need to cross the river to get to the right area but I can just check it where we come if I walk here. Multiple ways that lead to Rome, multiple ways that lead to the moon so let's just see where I will get. And sorry guys, I didn't upload a video yesterday, but I have huge problems here with the internet in Spain. It's terrible, it's so slow, and yesterday I didn't have internet at all. So I gave up filming and all that stuff because I wanted to film this beautiful area today. I did make another video yesterday because you have been asking me a lot of times, what is the difference between all these exchanges? So later today, I will also publish this video about Prime XBT because this is an exchange that has really cool features at the moment that I like and that you will like as well if you don't have the time to trade yourself all the time. But let's talk about the Bitcoin price guys because we all want to know what is going to happen while I cross this very small handmade bridge. Really cool. I think I need to go down here. It's really cool over here, it's beautiful. Because the whole area is very dry. And now I have this... Now I found this beautiful area here where there is water. And this feels like uh, when you were in the Sahara and you find this beautiful oasis of water. Check! And like always, there will be moments you need to cross this water. I'm wearing flip-flops, so I will get very wet and cold feet. Yeah, that's all part of the game. I will cross this part and then I will start to talk about the Bitcoin price. Get wet. Like survival in the, like in the jungle over here, man. It's like a small smart path. I think the kids will love it as well. I need to go back with the kids. Holy oh, shit. Ah. Shit. That's fucked up. <laughs> okay. Do you want some dirty flip tops? Here you have dirty flip-flops. I need to fix them somewhere and clean them. All for my followers, guys. All for my followers. Wait, here's some water. I can clean them over here. Okay. Give me a moment. I will walk up here to see where I am. And maybe I can see where I need to go if I'm a little bit higher up. I need to continue, I think. So back down again on my fucking flip flop. Ah. 
shit. And again, <clears throat> now the other flip flop brakes. I am really in the need of new flip flops that are able to walk me through these areas. But guys, while I walk through this beautiful part, let's talk about the Bitcoin price. Hopefully this won't be a dead end over here. The Bitcoin price in the short term can have two scenarios. One scenario is that Bitcoin will break out of this triangle and go upwards to 13,300. And the other scenario is guys that Bitcoin will have a fake out and break down all the way back to, to 9,800 to fill the CME gap. Like you can see on this chart, bam, both scenarios drawn on the chart by Bitcoin Jack. So you can see on the chart that both scenarios are possible at the moment. Even Bitcoin Jack at the moment doesn't know which one is going to happen. No one knows, no one knows. Like the song I always play in my videos. No one knows how high to hide. So we could break out to the upwards which I believe that is going to happen, but we can also break down do downwards, which a lot of my followers also seem to believe to happen. But let's take a look at another chart. Let's take a look at this one. Bam! This chart, guys. This chart, you can see the HV at the moment is a below 30. Below 30 has not happened many times in history, and every time it happened in history, this is a weekly chart, by the way, a chart, every candle is a week. But every time when this happened in history, when the HV went around 30, we saw a huge run up after. Just look to the left on the chart that way and you will see, I need to bend down, and you will see that every time we touch this low bottom of 30 guys, the HV returned and that the price of Bitcoin returned with it because every time you see a spike in this HV, this is around a small bull run. The 2017 bull run, the 2019 run, all these things you can read in the charts. The HV is also very important to pay attention to the next couple of weeks. On the same chart you can also see the NVT guys. The NVT is also very important to watch. You can see the NVT in some parts is red and some part is white. Every time when the line gets red we are getting bullish, we are going up. But when the line gets white again we need to start to pay attention because when the line gets white that is the moment when the Bitcoin price will go down. We are still in a red area, so we still need to pay attention to this line. Keep watching this red area as a hawk, because when it turns white, we will see a dip in Bitcoin. So then it will be the second scenario all the way down to 9,800. I don't want to see this, so I want this NVT to stay red for a couple of more weeks, but let's see how it will play out in the future. It's an important indicator to keep watching. And also on this chart guys, you can see this green trend line coming all the way from March bottom all the way up here to August. You can see this trend line has reacted as support all the, all the way up from March, it was support, support. Then we broke down this trend line and then the same trend line became resistance. Now we are fighting this trend line. We need to break this trend line to stay bullish. So if we will be able to break this trend line upwards, which means above 12,000, then this trend line will become support again. And when this becomes support again, we will see the Bitcoin price rise from 12 to 13,500 and even to 16,000 US dollar in the near future. In my opinion, if this trend line will stay resistance, so we will try to break it and we will be rejected as the trend line, then the second scenario could be possible. We could be going down all the way back to 9,800 US dollar. The thing that worries me most on this chart, guys, is the RSI, because we can now see that this blue line is crossing down on the red line, downwards in this area that will normally indicate that the Bitcoin price is falling down. Of course, we can cross down into this area and come up again, like you can see at the left, this already happened a few times, 
but we can also take it all the way down to the bottom again and that would indicate a huge price dip in Bitcoin before that the blue line will cross over the red line upwards again and take us into the next small run. So we are seeing bullish but also bearish indicators on the weekly chart which makes it a little bit confusing for everybody. But again, in my beliefs, we will go up. I think this blue line will go down a little bit. So short term, we will see a little dip to 11,200 again or something. And then it will cross up again. And then we will see 13,500 and then maybe 16,000 in the near future. I think this scenario will play out. But like you're used for me, guys, I love to zoom out on the chart. So let's take a look at this chart. Bam! This chart is a three month chart. So it means that every candle, every line is representing a period of three months. On this three month chart guys, that you can see that every time during this bearish time, we had this trend line downwards. We needed to break this trend line to get into the bull run. Like you saw in 2012, we had this line coming down, we broke it and then we got a bull run 2013, 2014. Then again, we got this trend line down, we broke it in 2016 to get the bull run to 2018. And now we have this trend line coming down again. We did break the trend line already. You can see it, the green candle went above the line. But remember, it's a three month candle. This candle still needs to close. This candle will close in about 35 days. So if we are able to close this candle, while well, you can see this beautiful gap behind me in the rocks, <laughs> if we are able to keep this three monthly candle closing above this trend line, that would be the most bullish sign for the long term, because that means we definitely are in the bull run and the next three monthly candle will start above this line. So this line formed a support and the next candle will take it up higher to 16,000, 20,000, maybe even 100,000 in the next year. It's very important to also watch this three month chart so you can see if we are able to close above this line. If we are not able to close above this line, so maybe we could even fall back to below 9k, then we would close below this line. And if we fall back to 9k, then we would be in big troubles, guys. Then we could even pull back more. But again, I think that chance is very small because, you know, I am a believer and I have seen all the charts. I have seen the stock to flow charts. I've seen the long term charts. I zoom out and I think we really are in the bull market. But again, this bull market will not go up directly to 20K or to 100K. This bull market will go with ups and downs. So these ups and downs, I already shared many times with you guys. These are the runs from 140%, dips from 40%, 120%, dip from 30%, 200% dip from 40%. We will see this in this bull run as well. So don't freak out, but always zoom out. Why am I this strong believer in Bitcoin? Because guys, for example, Bitcoin could also become reserve currency of the world. Like we have changed this reserve currency many times, every 100 years approximately. Dan Hell made a really cool tweet with an image where he showed how often already this reserve currency changed. I need to cross a small river again before I can talk further to you guys. So let's do that first. This time I will try not to wet my feet. Like you can see in this chart, bam, this one, you can see that the reserve currency has changed many times. The first one that we used was Portuguese money, Portugal. That one survived 75 years. And Spain took over and that one survived for 110 years. And then we got the beautiful Netherlands that even took over with the Dutch florin. And that one took over for, I think, 75 years. So that was the Dutch period. And after the Dutch period, guys, the French took over and that reserve currency took 105 years. And after the French, the UK took over and we had the pound as a reserve currency for 110 years. And then after the UK, the United States took over. And now this year, we are around the 88th year as a reserve currency of the US dollar. 
So in average, we have changed this reserve currency many times around the 75 to 100 years. So the dollar is ready to be replaced by the next reserve currency. And because this whole globalism all over the world, I don't believe the next reserve currency will be a single fiat from a country. I think it will be an international currency. And this international currency, in my opinion, could also be Bitcoin. So Bitcoin could be the next reserve currency of the world. And that is also what would drive up the price of Bitcoin. Because then Bitcoin becomes this very important tool. And maybe that is why all these huge companies are already exchanging their reserve capital, their fiat reserve capital, into Bitcoin reserve capital. Maybe they know a little bit more than us. Maybe they already know that the IMF or the Fed or whatever central organized organ in money, in money is already preparing for the next step in the reserve currency. And maybe even decentralized organization already understand the strength of Bitcoin and they will trust Bitcoin to be the next reserve currency. I don't know, no one knows. So I like the song is saying every time in my videos, no one knows, no one knows. No one knows. Nobody knows, but it is a possibility and I'm betting on this possibility that Bitcoin will become a very important financial tool in the next decade. It's a very beautiful part. Yes, I will enjoy the way back because then I'm not talking to a camera and I can enjoy the complete trip back. And many more people are thinking the same like me because if we take a look at this chart, bam, this is a chart produced by Glassnode. They always produce really cool charts. So Glassnode, on this chart you can see that 8 million Bitcoins haven't moved for the last three years. 8 million Bitcoins didn't move out their wallet for the last three years. All hodlers, all people that will believe that Bitcoin will go up from here. That is why they are hodling. 8 million Bitcoins not moving for three years. Very positive indicator. That's about 44% of the whole Bitcoin stack, guys. And if we can see how much this has grown the last year, we started last year around July with 34% of the Bitcoins not moved for three years. And we saw an increase to 44% this year of Bitcoins not moving over three years. Very positive indicator. All people that believe that Bitcoin will become a very important step in the evolution of money or in the evolution of gold or in the evolution of reserve currencies all over the world. And that is probably also why the IRS is now making all these rules and why the IRS send out all these letters to all the US citizens that were holding Bitcoin that they now need to pay tax on their cryptocurrencies. How could the IRS know who is owning cryptocurrencies? That is my question. And all these questions, they lead to the same answer. All these questions seem to lead to Coinbase because many people that received the letter were also signed up to Coinbase. So is Coinbase giving all our info to the IRS? That is the question. I think I need to cross over again. Now I need to cross a little bit of a bigger stream. It's a really cool hike. <laughs> Yeah, really cool path for my flip-flops. <laughs> so where were we? We were oh yeah, we were at Coinbase. So is Coinbase giving away all this crypto data to all to the IRS so the IRS can calculate your profits and they will tax you on your crypto profits? And do they just trick you now by sending you these letters? Ah, oh, you need to send us how much profit you make with cryptocurrency because um, we are taxing this while they already know about your cryptocurrency profits so if you're not sending it you're doing a criminal thing and if you're not and if you're sending sending the wrong numbers they will tell you oh but we saw that you had more profit so there is a man in the states james harper he just com filed a complaint against the irs because he's like you are now breaching my rights of the fourth and the fifth amendment of the united states you are breaching my right to privacy you cannot access my data without requesting it. So you just did, and that's why I'm filing a complaint. So the IRS unlawfully violated the Fourth and the Fifth Amendment of the United States rights. 
So this is what James Harper thinks, and maybe more and more people in the world should file a complaint so that the IRS cannot tax you guys on cryptocurrencies because they are not allowed to access all this data from Coinbase or any other cryptocurrency exchange. And while I'm walking here, guys, I'm thinking, where are all these pools? Because they told me there are pools where you can swim in, and I didn't see one pool, and I think I'm running into a dead end. If I look up front, I see this huge cliff. I don't know how much further I should walk to find these pools. And no, I'm not talking about mining pools. I'm talking about a pool I can swim in. Like with money, you need to follow the money. I will follow the stream because all these streams will probably lead into a pool. Did you read the news about Teeter now having an average of a transfer value, of a daily transfer value, bigger than PayPal, bigger than Bitcoin? Teeter in August transferred about 3.5 billion US dollar daily. PayPal and Bitcoin are transferring around 2.95 billion US dollar daily. So Tether has topped out Bitcoin and PayPal in August. If this DeFi industry will be growing more and more, I think Tether will be topping out Bitcoin and PayPal even more in the near future. So let's see how this DeFi craze, how this whole hype around DeFi is going to change this whole industry in the next couple of months. Maybe I can walk up here to see where I am and to see how I can continue this trip somewhere to a pool. It's a beautiful area. I think I need to cross there to find a pool of water somewhere. So yes, Tether is growing very fast because I think I also read that there was just $200 million worth of USDT minted on the Tron blockchain. So more and more Tethers are going to be pushed into the market. And while we're talking about alts, let's talk about my favorite alt at the moment, DOT. Yes, DOT from Polkadot. I think Polkadot is not a competition of Ethereum, but I think it's a multi-chain version um, that will create bridges between all these different blockchains. And I think Polkadot is going to grow tremendously. I bought Polkadot around $4.15, I think, a few days ago. It's already at $6. I think my targets are around $15 to $20 for Polkadot. I think it's a really cool and strong project with a strong team that is the, that's going to grow tremendously in the next couple of months because of the fact they are a multi-chain blockchain. So if you want to enter a trade at the moment, I would definitely take a look at Polkadot because I believe it could be a very cool project for the future. It already has a 5.6 billion market gap and I think this market gap will even grow further in the next couple of weeks, guys. So if you want to invest in an altcoin, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just a dude walking in this beautiful nature here in Spain. But if you want to follow what I'm doing, I just bought Polkadot at $4.15, so I already had $2 profit. Maybe it will go to $15 or $20. Nobody knows, nobody knows, but I think it will go there. The water is cool and refreshing. It will clean my dirty feet because they got all muddy. But I can't, I can't find these pools. And I want to find a pool where I can swim. So I will continue even further. And I can hear some more people following me, so probably I am the right track and probably you just need to walk further and further and further but that also is the reason that this video is out in the evening again instead of the morning so sorry for that and yes guys also the underlying technology blockchain of course is very important because now even Starbucks starts to track their coffee on the blockchain I think they're using the Microsoft blockchain but they start to track from growing the coffee coffee beans to the end product and selling them in the stores. So you can scan this QR code on the Starbucks package. So you can see the whole history of these beans. You can track them from where they've been grown to the point that they are being sold in the stores. So even Starbucks going deep in blockchain now as well. And I also read some news about a store called Uquid. And Uquid is offering 35,000 products that you can pay with Bitcoin directly in their store. 35,000 that you can buy online in Uquid and pay directly with Bitcoins. 
this industry is growing very fast guys I love to be in this industry but I also love to be in nature so I am going to stop filming now because I want to be connected to nature if I find a pool I will jump into this pool I will film this of course as well but this was the video for today I hope you enjoyed the video if you did enjoy the video please give the video a thumbs up share it with your community subscribe to our channel hit the notification bell and please leave a comment because I love to reply to your comments I want to thank you for watching and I want to remember you guys to always zoom out in crypto and to zoom in at life try to enjoy every single minute of the day because that is exactly what makes life worth living. I wish you a beautiful day and hope to see you tomorrow again. Bye. I feel kind of really sad because I just had this ranger walking up to me and he was like telling me not to swim in the pool. It's just a beautiful pool. It's so beautiful here in this nature. With all these streams. And then they tell you not to swim in it. I think I will wait for a few minutes till he is gone. And of course I will swim in it because guys, it feels so refreshing. And it's so warm here in Spain. You need to swim in it. Can we afford to hesitate? Of course, I didn't jump from a camper van into this beautiful area. I drove here with my motorbike. So I am going to drive back home now with a motorbike and show you the beautiful surroundings that I'm driving through to get back home for a beautiful shake or a lunch because, yes, I am hungry. No one knows if there's still time to turn it around. Can you see the chimney coming out of the rocks? Because one, a part of the house is below that mountain.